Well hey there everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. As you see, this video will be doing the Cracker Barrel sign. This sign will complete the tutorial that I just done on the Cracker Barrel restaurant. I hope that you all enjoy this build and tutorial. If you do, please drop a like down below. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's go ahead and get this started. Alright everybody, as you see I'm in Dave's world right here. Just wanted to give you all a little bit of a example of what he can do. He's done so much more in the past and always working on something like this here. Now these do take a long time to do, so please keep that in mind guys. If you do ask him to do one, it does take time to do these. These are massive, like this one right here, the Cobra Kai, that's 10 maps. It's enormous. So again guys, please keep that in mind. And also, give him some love. Check his link down below to his channel. And let him know that I sent you when you get there. Thank you guys for the support. And please again, check him out. Oh, that's done. Uh, uh. Well, Alright everybody, now first things first, make sure that you're far away from everything. Nice big flat area as you see here. This is going to be 8 maps, it's going to be pretty big, so again, make sure that you're far away from everything. Also you see, I have this section out already, so there is a corner there is a corner and then two at the bottom here this here is going to be one map size so imagine eight of these together that's going to be what we're going to be using so also in your inventory you see that we have two different maps we have empty map and we have empty locator map both of these maps will use in this video very important that you pay attention close as possible because again we'll use both of these in different ways if you use these incorrectly you'll mess up first things first we're going to end up using the empty locator map first later on we will use the regular empty map okay so once you've found yourself far away from everything and you got yourself the empty locator map now I need to show you how to find the corners of the map alright so what you need to do first is find a good block to use now it doesn't really matter what texture pack you're using for this but as you see this block here it's got the hard edges on it white and black and it's easy to count and easy to see so find a block that is easy to see and count it's going to be very helpful in this video also let's go ahead and show you how to find your border of your map so first things first you're going to go far away from everywhere grab your map open it up as you see I'm right dead center of this map pretty much and that's Everything is opened up on here because I've already got this area, but don't worry. I'll show you how to find your edges But pretty much you're going to Come right up top now. This is the locator map the locator map has your character or your player on it You see you can see the player there 
The other map, the regular empty map, does not show your players. So that's why we're using this map. So right up top, as you see, if I get right up top left corner, you see these black lines here. These lines here is right on the edge. Okay? These lines here, as you see, if I fly right over, see my character right up top top right self-explanatory you see it here so the same thing for these two bottom ones really easy really simple so make sure that you guys find your corners now this might take a few minutes to find your actual corner of your maps don't worry it does take me a, uh, a good minute or two to find these now if you're actually wanting to make sure and count it's going to be 128 by 128 but it takes too long to count and I'll show you exactly what you're going to do so let's go right over here next to this one and we're going to use the same technique and we're going to find this other map so I'm right over here there's the first map we're going to go over here we're going to open another map look into it and we're going to open it all all this up okay now what you're going to do since we have this corner up here if we go up top left you see we have this here from the first map you see now since we got that we're just going to come over here so i can quickly show you the process and yes this is going to take a a minute or two to find the actual corner but you're going to come up to your corner here and again grab a map your your empty locator map you're going to put this in your left hand that way you can see all right so I'm up top right again I'm going to take this block and I'm going to just place it down now I'm gonna place it down right here I'm not even gonna put it on the edge on purpose so I can show you now you see that the top right that's not on the edge again I've done that on purpose so you can see now if you've done it too far in this is what you're gonna see if you too, go too far out like out here you can't even see that show up on the map so this is the process that you're gonna have to go through so come somewhere right in here and then you you kind of eyeball it you kind of say oh maybe right here that's perfect that's right on the edge if I was to go right here that's not on the edge as you see right there on the map so if I was to go right here delete this you can't even see it so again this might take a few minutes to actually find your your edges of your maps okay so we have this here let's see how far up we're gonna go uh, come out here no it's too far let's go in another one here perfect okay so you see we have that there have this here going along now we're gonna go to the other corner now what you could do is get right here look at your coordinates up top my coordinates is 1087 on this block your coordinates will be different but that might help out as well so just come straight back 1087 right here so looking at my map if I was to come up right here and then coming back this way that's too far in so it's just a process you have to eyeball it right there is on the edge so that's what you guys are gonna have to do go to all four corners and you're going to section this off now when you guys do this, go ahead and put the line all the way across. 
So when you go to do this, go all the way down this way, square all this up, and where your maps end up at, so right here, this, this line is for the first map. So for the map that we're on now, it will be this line. So you see it showed up there. So there's going to be a double line to separate each map. So what you're going to do, you're going to do this, four across the bottom and four across the top. That'll be eight maps. So go ahead and find all your maps. Section all these out. Alright, now once you have all eight maps sectioned off and mapped out, with all the edges this is what you should have here so once you have all that on all eight maps then go ahead and come down somewhere on the ground I have my little spot right down here you're gonna make yourself a little two by four little wall like this two blocks tall four blocks wide eight blocks as you see here Place your item frames in here, and then this is where you're going to be placing your maps that you just mapped out. Now once you've done this, very closely look at each one of these. Make sure that your borderline, whatever block that you use, again I used the black there. So my black is right on the edge all the way around. So once you have all this, again, make sure that your line is right on the edge all the way around all of this. All right, now once you've got this, then you're going to have to fill in each map, all eight maps, with white concrete. And I know what you're thinking. It's going to take hours and hours. Yes, if you do it the old-fashioned way, block by block, placing it down, yes, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take all day to fill all this in. If you do it my way, it's only going to take a few seconds. I can fill in each of these maps, all eight of these, in under a minute. If you do it my way, I'm going to show you how to do it my way. If you do it my way, then it's, again, it's very easy to do, real simple, so pay close attention. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fill in this first map right here, the bottom left. Now, Everything I'm going to show you on this one, you're going to do the same exact thing on all the rest. So again guys, pay close attention on this. That way it only takes you a few seconds to fill this in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down here to the very corner. Again, what I'm going to do here, you're going to do copy the same thing on all the other maps. So I'm only going to show you one time. So you're going to go right here, right up against this block. Put your crosshairs on this block right here. Okay? Put that on there like this. Then you're going to open up your chat. Okay? Right at the bottom. And this is what you're going to type in. You're going to type in forward slash fill. And on the left side of the screen, mine says 832. My numbers is my coordinates. So your numbers, your coordinates will be different from mine. That's very important, guys. Don't type in what I'm typing. Just look in the same spot and yours will be different. Just type in what you see on the left side of your screen. So mine is 832. So I'm going to type in 832. And then I'm going to put a space. Each time you put a space, it's going to come up with another number. So I have four on the left side here space and then one seven two six so one seven two six I'm gonna enter that in and whenever I enter that in it's gonna come up that it's an error that's okay that's what you need now once we've got this corner here you're gonna go to the opposite corner over here on this side again all these maps you're gonna do the same so you're going to come right over here, the opposite corner, to this. We're done there, so we're going to come over here to this opposite corner. Again, we're going to put our cursor, our crosshairs, on this block. We're going to open up our chat. 
and instead of typing everything back in I'm going to hit the up button and it brings up the previous command that is very important that you guys do that that way it you don't have to retype everything so you're gonna go in here like you're gonna type in more and then you're gonna put a space so when you put a space on the left side of the screen as you see the numbers pop up okay so put a space and my numbers again will be different from yours so mine is nine five nine so nine five nine space four space one six zero one now I'm gonna enter this in again it's gonna say it's an error that's okay now we've got that corner the coordinates on that corner and we have this corner the coordinates of this corner now once you've got that then you're going to come right in the middle somewheres Make sure that you're on the grass at the very bottom towards the middle. Then this is what you're going to do, guys. You're going to go ahead and open your chat back up. i got to hit the up button here because it brings up the previous uh, command, as you see. And then I'm going to type in. I'm going to put a space. And I'm going to type in concrete zero. And then I'm going to enter that in. And as you see... It filled in all these blocks with white concrete. Now, for any reason it says that it cannot fill in because it's outside of the world, that means that your uh, generator, you're too far away. So you kind of have to make sure that you're on the ground. And if it keeps doing that, just move around a little bit and keep trying until it fills in. So again you're going to do all your maps the same way so this next map here you'll get the coordinates of this block go to the opposite corner which will be over here get the coordinates of that block and then put in concrete zero again you're going to do all these maps the same way all right now once you have it all filled in with your white then you're going to have to come down here to where your maps are and go in here and update each one that way they're all white so go ahead and do that grab all your maps from down there go up through here open them and update each one of these and fill them all in with the white all right now once you've got them all filled in with your white this is what you should have on your maps all eight maps just like this once you've got that then now comes the very tedious part counting everything and outlining everything and putting everything on the map so just like what we've done before where we had to update each map you're gonna have to do that same thing or what you could do is for example if we was to start off this bottom left map which is this one right here what you could do is grab that map and put it in your left hand just like this that way anytime that you uh, do anything on here for example I'm just gonna grab this black if I was a place is black here as you see you can see it right there on the map so that's another way you guys can uh, easily update your map as well as you build all right now as you see I have things marked out I have things counted for you and outlined I know a lot of this might be overwhelming and you're thinking what did I get myself into trust me I know I understand but I'm gonna go over this as close as I can don't get overwhelmed this is gonna be easy you just gonna have to take your time and pay attention so everything I have now, never mind that, pretend it's not even there, because what we're going to do now is count blocks and outline everything. That's what we're going to do, so just pay attention to that and never mind everything else. So what we're going to do is go to the very bottom left map, which will be this one. Now as you see, we have the white in here, what we filled in. 
And that's what we're going to be counting on. We're not going to count this this black outline. Okay. So what we're going to do. Count diagonal on the white. Going this way. Diagonal. As you see I switched the red and green back and forth. Just to show you. Easier to see. So you're going to go in this direction. Diagonal. A total of. 73 blocks so 73 blocks going diagonal this red block here will be number 73 so right off of this again use blocks easy to count I cannot stress that enough so as you see we are going to go ahead and outline everything these blocks here are going to be placed right on top of the white. Everything in between will be filled in with either brown or yellow, as you see. So, again, these blocks will not be placed here. They'll be placed here on the white. So, this is number 73 here from that corner. You're going to have these three here. And instead of me going and counting every single block, which is thousands of blocks, I'm just going to quickly go around the thing like this here. And you're just going to pause the video when needed. So just pay close attention. Alright, let's go ahead and do this.
All right, now once you've got all of the black outline, then now we're gonna go ahead and concentrate on the placement and make sure that everything is placed in correctly. Like for example, we came in 73 blocks from this corner and started there. So let's go ahead and come up top here where the head is, where the face, and we're gonna do some counting here. So I, I'm gonna come up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen blocks to that borderline right off of here. So fourteen blocks from there, right on top of the head. Do some more counting over here. So right here, let's see, make sure you guys know where I'm at. So right off the head here where it goes down and then up around this way. This spot here, let's get some numbers. So right off of here, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 blocks on that one. And then as it goes around here, it dips down, comes back up. Let's go ahead and do some numbers over here. This is the left. No, this is all the way to the right, this big curve that goes around. This big curve here. You see I went ahead and got this. So right off the outline here with this green block. Going to the edge, I have 53 blocks to this edge here. So 53 blocks there. Well, Alright, now once we have the black outline, let's go ahead and focus on the white, which was mainly on the letters inside of here. Now we'll get to all this other stuff to the left of it, the barrel and the man on the chair we'll get to that later but first let's go ahead and focus on this so what we need to do right off the bat is figure out where we're at so right over there is where we started off at diagonal blocks coming up and around down this way which where the barrel is and this is where we're going to find ourselves where it comes up right here with these black blocks this L shape you're going to count up right here. One, two, three, four. This white block here, this is what you're going to place here off this fourth, off this L shape right down here. Now, again, you guys are going to go ahead and pause the video when needed. Again, focus on these white blocks.
Alright, so let's go ahead and come down this way. Make sure you got this. Right off that C. The back of the barrel. And let's get the rest of these here and get these counted out. So right here, off this top of the B, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. Spacing there. Off the bottom part of the B here, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 blocks there so you can get this positioned correctly. Alright, I see some other spots over here. Let's go ahead and do the A, R, and the E and the L there. Alright, so let's come to right here, this flat spot of the top of the B. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 blocks. Well, this A here, this A comes out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks there. So making sure you guys have this position correctly. So it looks right on the map. So let's go ahead and do this A here. All right now that's the barrel part we got the C already and we need to do this R A C K E R there we got some of the K we got actually the K but we'll go over that anyways so here's again the C I do know a lot of this is very very tedious and this is again for the only the ones that want the extra bit of detail all right so the top of the C here let's count down right here we got one two three four five six seven eight blocks until we get here all right so we got that I'm going to go through here, pause the video again if needed.
Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and place these black blocks right on top of all this. And that way you guys can just pause the video on these letters. So what I'm going to do first to make this easy. I'm going to come up here that way you know exactly where this needs to be on the map. So you don't get lost. Come right down here the bottom part of this kidney bean shape where we have this counted out here. Where we got this coming across again was 31 blocks. Alright, so we have this flat spot here off the bottom part, right by the B. So we got this flat spot here. So pause the video right here, and this is where we're going to go. Let's see, we're going to find the middle. Let's go here. So pause the video right there. And make sure that you mark this block. Alright, now once you've got that. Make this easy as possible. We're going to come down. To here. From that. Wherever that you pause the video at, from there, you're going to come straight down. And I ended up right here on this part. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go in, cover these brown with the black, and then you're going to pause the video from there. Right now, for anybody that's still here watching the video, you can pretty much see why I don't do tutorials like this. Alright, so now let's go ahead and do the barrel, and then we'll do the man. Now on the barrel, what I'm going to do for it, because you already have the outline with the black around the side here, and then on the top, and also the white outline on the right side, what I'm going to do is take the white blocks and I'm going to place it on the brown. Not the yellow, but the brown. So, and then you guys are going to go ahead and do the same thing as what we've been doing. Pause the video and then from there you can just replace everything with the brown blocks and then filling in with the yellow. Alright, now let's go ahead and do the man sitting on the chair here. So, you should already have the black outline for him. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, because there's less yellow than there is brown, I'm just going to go ahead and take this white block here, and I am going to place it on the yellow. So I'm going to place it on the yellow, not the brown. And I'm just going to outline the yellow. And then you guys can again pause the video and then filling in the rest.
All right, to make a nice border around your sign, you see the brown across the bottom and along the sides all the way around it. To make that nice border, all you got to do is take your brown three blocks wide, two blocks from the bottom, as you see here, go all along the bottom. You're going to do this all the way around the sign along the sides and the bottom and the top now when you get to right here you're gonna have this shape you're gonna have two one and two like that and then from the corner you're gonna have one two three four five diagonal like that so go ahead and do that all along the edge Alright, now you're pretty much done except for one very, very crucial step. Remember at the beginning I told you that there's two different maps? A locator map and an empty map? Well, this is what you're going to do. Don't do the locator map. You're going to need a regular empty map, okay? Now, you're going to need the empty map. You're going to need a glass pane and a cartography table now what you're gonna do you're gonna go up here you're gonna grab your empty map you're gonna open that empty map up okay you're gonna update this map open it up as you see here then you're gonna go into the cartography table you're gonna put that in there and then the glass pane in there that will lock the map. So grab that out. And this is what you're going to use to put in your item frames. And also on your building as well. And again everybody, if you did enjoy this build and tutorial, please drop a like down below. Also, check out my friend Dave Ventura down below in the description. I could not do this without his help. Also, this Cracker Barrel restaurant has full interior and everything else. So if you don't have this built, go ahead and check this out as well, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this. And again, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.